any baseball player on this planet. Please step into the cage with me. See if you can do what I do. I already know what's going to happen. Here's a story about Stanley Anderson. Imagine facing a 75, 80 mile per hour fastball and trying to hit it. Now, imagine hitting that same pitch, standing almost on top of the pitching machine. Third of the time a major league hitter has. I have a streak going right now of 1,900 swings in a row without a miss. 1,900 swings. You think anybody else on the planet can do that? I challenge anybody on the planet. I've been coming here for more than 20 years. I would step over the red line and do my thing, and they would always walk by and say, hey, my man, get back. But I was doing it so much, after a while, I became a regular. I knew it was unique, but I didn't think it was newsworthy. Some sports science guys and some math guys told me the equivalent speeds of what I was doing and the reaction time. I couldn't believe it. A 100 mile an hour fastball gets to the plate in .390 a second. That's less than a blink of an eye, fourth of a second. Where I'm hitting, the ball is getting to me in 0.18, under two tenths of a second. So that's how much time I have to see it, recognize it, and get my bat to the zone. People say I start my swing before the ball comes out. People say I guess where the ball is going to be. But I make contact with 99.568 of every pitch. I've swung at 22,700 pitches so far this year. I've missed 98. I keep counting. What he does is, in a large part, unexplainable. And he's got tremendous strength because you got to get a 33-inch bat off that shoulder in less than two-tenths of a second. And to be able to do that and have the coordination to still hit that ball is something that, in the three years I've been watching him, no one has come close to being able to duplicate. Any baseball player on this planet, please step into the cage with me. See if you can do what I do. That goes for everybody. Bryce Harper, Mike Trout, Miguel Cabrera, any of them. I'm not saying I'm better than them. They're Hall of Fame guys. I'm not no Hall of Fame guy. I never even made it to the pros. I'm nobody. I'm nobody. But I'm going to tell you this. No one can step inside that cage and do what I do. I'm getting warmed up now, Doc. I'm getting warmed up now. It's a scientific fact that when you yell or express yourself, it helps your energy level. That's why you hear martial artists yell before they break something. Helps me too. Growing up, superheroes were the thing, comic books. It wasn't cartoons or movies, comic books. My personality is forged from heroes like Batman, Iron Man, Captain America. What they stand for. I always want to help people. I always want to save people. That's, that's the mentality a superhero has. I worked in law enforcement security my entire life. It's my call. I'm a heroic type guy. My superhero name inside that batting cage, the reaction. We're gonna try MJ, you gonna try it? You wanna try it? You wanna try it? Come on. This is gonna be real interesting. greatest attribute to me for an athlete, I don't care what sport you play, the greatest attribute an athlete can have to me, in my opinion, is toughness. Toughness has no gender, has no size, has no color, none of that. Toughness is a state of mind. Remember I told you I worked in the corrections for a long time, for 33 years altogether. They needed someone there that could handle situations. If there was a problem, I was called. Everybody talks a good game. But when it goes down, the real you is going to come out. So a lot of people talk about how tough they are, what they'll do in a situation. See, I've, I've seen this all my life. And then when it breaks out, they don't do what they say they're going to do. I'm the opposite of that. Put another token in, Jim. Jim, put another token in. You got to be quick. Your thinking's got to be aggressive. And you got to think, I got to get this back to the zone. Any delay, any hitch. Any blink, it's by you. 
Simple. You gotta be locked in. You gotta be aggressive, you can't be scared of it. If you're scared of it, you ain't gonna hit it. A lot of people get in here and they're scared of it. They ain't gonna with it. I was four years old when the riot happened in 1967. We lived in the middle of the riot at that time on the west side of Detroit. And I remember my mother coming in and getting me and my brother out of the bed, putting us on the floor because there was a lot of gunfire going on. My parents did not play. My parents raised me to be the man that I am. And I'm a superman because of them. Because they would not allow me to go on the street and act a fool and all that. They wouldn't buy that. I don't care if I never have any money. I don't care if I never have anything. But when I look in the mirror, am I the best man that I can be? Am I proud of the man that I am? That means a lot to me. That means everything to me. Be honorable, mannerable, respectful. That encompasses all that. That's more important to me than my life. I'm not running. I'm not scared. If it means my life, it means my life. I mean that. I, I really mean that. I know you don't know me that well, I but I really mean that. Jim knows I mean that. I believe you. <laughs>